Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are here to check in for the fourth week of August with our budget. So in front of me, I've got my Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner. This is the planner that I personally like to use to manage our family's finances. And we're just gonna flip it on over to the monthly spread here. This is where we're gonna kind of start out for our check-in this week. And we are looking at um, the week of the 23rd through the 29th, I am filming this on the 28th. I usually film this video um, on the on Wednesday, and technically the week closes on Thursday. So sometimes there's some transactions that are included that are that were like on Thursday or Wednesday night of the previous week um, and everything like that. So let's go ahead and get started and just track our debit card transactions. So the way I've got my um, budget set up basically is to check in with our weekly expenses here as far as debit transactions are concerned. I've got my monthly budget right here. And then I also track our cash transactions in a similar fashion on a different page. And we'll get to that in just a moment. So again, we're looking at this fourth week here and we're gonna start with grocery pickup. So, we had one transaction for grocery pickup. It was for $73.86. We are definitely over budget for grocery pickup this month, but I kind of anticipated that we would be um, because I, when I was budgeting, $73.86, um, when I was budgeting, I didn't really take into account that we'd be going an extra weekend um, for groceries. So there's that. Okay, hopefully that lighting is a little bit better for you guys. Um, okay, so $73.86, we were over by $60.45 last week. So, $60.45, so we're currently over, yikes. <laughs> we're currently over by $134.31. So we need to keep a close eye on that for the rest of the month for sure. And then with gas, we had one transaction and it was for the Dodge Journey for 5060. We should be good on gas. September will be interesting because um, we're gonna be, you know, taking my daughter back and forth to school and then she signed up for soccer and everything like that too. So we'll be doing some extra driving. Um, so we have our budget. We agreed to keep it at 300 for September. I'm a little worried that we're going to go over, but we'll just have to see how it goes. So 123.35 minus 50.60. So we currently have 72.75 left for gas for the month. So that should definitely get us through the rest of the month. We just have to make it until next Friday, which is the first paycheck of September. So for Duncan, we had one transaction for 513, and then I also put my personal money towards that as well, because um, we got some extra stuff. So it was for 513, which was exactly what we had left, and then that leaves us with zero. So no more Duncan until September, sad day. <laughs> Okay, and then for unbudgeted expenses, we just had two, which strive for zero, obviously, but my daughter had a book fair at school, so we got her some new books. Um, she's going to be working on reading. Same with this um, unbudgeted transaction here. That's a reading, like, phonics program that we picked up for her, and the the guarantee or the claim is that it will get her reading within four weeks, which would be really exciting. So we picked her up some like level one books and then the reading program. They were kind of pricey, but worth it in my opinion. I think reading is so important. It's something that I need to really work on getting back to personally. So, okay, so it's 161.99 and we have nothing remaining there. So that takes care of our weekly um, debit transactions and then the next thing we're going to do is jump on over to our actual paycheck budget which I think is right here and we'll just kind of update things here so I know all of our bills have come out and you'll see um, 
the bills right here, they've all come out. So Banner, Life Insurance, the HOA, T-Mobile, APS, Hulu, and they were all exactly as budgeted. So we'll just put that those amounts in. I don't really like need to do this, but I always like having a budget and an actual column. So I don't know, I feel like I have to. <laughs> And then 1302. So that was all exactly as planned. Sinking funds was as planned for 415. Um, unbudgeted was the 161.99. And that was over. 199. So our rollover amount then was 1510.63 minus 161.99 was $1,348.68. $48.64. Okay. So that takes care of our paycheck budget. And this is like basically the three-step process I go through, by the way, with each check-in. It's relatively new. I haven't done this like whole process really until August, but I'm really loving it. I feel like it, it helps me keep track of absolutely everything. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at our cash envelopes. So I've got another key here where I track food, household, family fund money, pocket money, and miscellaneous. These categories will be changing slightly in September since we're going to start incorporating monthly meal plans and monthly grocery hauls. Um, I, I've done them in the past. It's a lot of work up front, but it is so worth it because it saves you time throughout the month. Um, and I feel like that's something that we're gonna need, especially once baby Julia comes and everything. So I wanted to start that back up. Um, I kind of flip flop sometimes, like I'll do monthly here, bi-weekly, weekly. Um, I like switching things up. That's something I've learned about myself. <laughs> but um, yeah, so these categories will be changing slightly next month and you guys will see that. But as you can see, we did have a couple transactions down here. So we went to Portillo's to celebrate my daughter's first day of pre-K. And I contributed some of my pocket money towards that. And then we used the rest of our family fund money. So food, we didn't spend anything because we didn't have anything remaining. So we'll just go ahead and put that in. We spent zero. And then technically I have $1.30, but that's all in coins <laughs> remaining. And let's see, what else? Miscellaneous was also zero because we were out of that cash anyways. So we'll put that in, take care of that real quick. Okay, and then pocket money. Um, I Like I said, I put part of it towards Duncan and I also did the Portillo's. So that was 2438. 24, 38, and we had, I had 25, 71 remaining, 71 minus 24, 38, so a dollar 33 remaining there. Um, okay, and let's go ahead and cross off those transactions. I'm really excited because I'm going to be filming my um, September budget and September sinking funds today. And I always get really excited when it comes to filming, you know, a new month's budget and everything. So the pocket money is taken care of. Family fun, we used the 14 we had left. 14, so we had 24 cents remaining. And then household, we used the 18 we had left to get toilet paper. Um, so we spent 18 and we had two cents remaining. And I'll show you guys my cash envelopes in a second. Basically, <laughs> it, they're empty, but I'll just show you guys anyways, so you can see. Cross 
this off and cross that off. And we shouldn't have any more transactions because we are out of cash. So anything else would be considered unbudgeted at this point for these particular categories. But again, I'm, I'm gonna be taking cash out, I think Tuesday. So it's, it's really not a big deal. So yeah, so there's food, household, family fun. All of these are empty. I can't show you mine, my pocket money, because I have a check in there for my birthday from my grandma. Thank you, grandma, <laughs> for that. And then I've got some cash I need to deposit into the bank back here. Um, so yeah, those are all empty. And then we will go into the last week of um, August next week. Uh, I'll be checking in next Thursday with week five. And, you know, like I said, we shouldn't be spending anything else at all for cash because it's all gone. So, um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess, for this check-in. Pretty uh, easy peasy today. But if you guys have any questions at all, let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to catch all my future videos. And um, if you're interested in Sarah Marie stickers, which are the stickers that you see here, or the Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner, I do have links in the description box down below that you guys can use to pick up anything that you would like for your family's budget. I'll talk to you later. Bye.